Welcome back to another Michigan football preview at AnnArbor.com. I'm Dave Burkett, back with my colleague Mike Rothstein. And Mike, before we get on to this week's game against Purdue, one question. Did you, uh, did you throw up like I did at the Illinois game last week? Um, more just laughing at, at your way too much confidence in this Michigan team. Uh, not, to pre it. not to preview the end here, but I'm going back to my old standby of I'm not picking you until you show me something. So that's where I tell you who I'm picking. But anyway, let's get on to the game. <laughs> well, first, Illinois. I mean, look, Michigan really, really laid an egg last week. I mean, came out decent, you know, the first half, but but down that goal line stand, third quarter really changed everything. Couldn't punch it in from four plays at the one. And uh, things just snowballed from there, 38-13. I mean, I don't think, even though you didn't pick Michigan by as much as I did, I don't think you could have expected that. The team totally could No, I thought, I thought if Illinois won, it was going to be a close game. I'm still looking for the big pterodactyl egg somewhere probably in Champaign. But anyway, it comes down to this for Michigan this week. They win, they go to a bowl. Maybe they get to go to Dave's favorite place in Arizona and great hotels there. Or maybe they get to go to Pizza Pizza Bowl and you can take some stuff home to your kid or, or whatever. But if they lose this week, I think they're done. I don't think you can I don't think they can win at Wisconsin and Ohio State. I just you saw what Juice Williams did and Terrell Pryor is probably a bigger, stronger version of Juice Williams and their uh, Ohio State defense is much more talented. So this is a much must win game for Michigan this week, and I just, I don't know what's going to happen. No, if, yeah, first of all, Arizona, that's more about seeing my buddies, Joe Little, Chris, I'll see you guys down there, <laughs> than it is about the, the hotel. Uh, number two, uh, you know, you're right, Purdue has played, I mean, they've played some good games against Oregon, against uh, Ohio State, beating them, obviously, against Notre Dame, coming down to the last minute, but they're kind of like Michigan in that turnovers have really been an issue for them this year. No, I would absolutely agree. It's, I'm not saying it's a must, you know, that they're not going to win at all. I think Michigan has a good shot because they're at home and because you got to think at some point Brandon Miner is going to be like, all right, I really want to run hard again, although he barely played against Illinois, which I think was a big factor in their loss. He played in pass protection for some reason. Yeah, I, don't, I still don't know. I mean, you know, he's clearly healthy enough to play uh, in pass protection and for one play and maybe the critical play of the game, but not to run it on any other play. Still don't get that, but Michigan's defense is a huge issue right now. Purdue, the one thing you know about Purdue is they can score. They've always been able to score, whether it was, you know, Joe Tiller or now in the first year of Danny Hope. They're able to do that. They have a really good running back. Joey Elliott has looked serviceable at times, and Michigan's had a big propensity this year to make serviceable quarterbacks look like All-American quarterbacks, so got to wonder what's going to happen there. I, I know you like Ralph Bolden. I mean, let's get to what Michigan has to do in order to win this game, because you're right. I think if Michigan loses this week, it, it doesn't bode well for the last two games, Wisconsin Ohio State. So what does Michigan have to do to, to they, get back? They have to right? not turn the ball over. That's the, that's the first thing. Tate Forcia has to have better ball protection. Rod Smith brought it up after the Illinois game saying that's one thing that he noticed. He's got to hold on to the ball better. I mean, that's been a huge problem for Michigan in the month of October is turning the ball over against every team except Delaware State. The other thing is creating turnovers. Michigan hasn't done that in a while. They didn't even create a turnover against Delaware State. And Delaware State was really, really bad. Really bad. I mean, you, you see how bad they were even looking now. I mean, that when Michigan's just been annihilated by Division One A teams. No, we see it every week. The defense really only has Brandon Graham. Let's get to predictions. It sounds like you uh, you don't have much faith in Michigan this week. No, I'm going to take Purdue. I'm going back to the old, you know, I'm not taking you till you show me something edict. I'm going to take Purdue 24, Michigan 21. At the risk of getting another pie in my face, I'm going to take Michigan this week. I think Michigan gets it done. I think Forsyth gets back on track a little bit. And Brandon Miner, Rich said earlier this week, he's as healthy as he's been in a while. So I think Brandon Miner's going to have a big day against that Purdue defense. I've got Michigan 28, Purdue 21. Um, I'm Dave Burkett. I'm Mike Rothstein. And we're still laughing that Dave missed that badly on the Michigan-Illinois game. At least I didn't pick uh, Western Division. We'll see you next week on AnnArbor.com. Yeah, it happens.